from a high-functioning executive to a person on disability. Sam Norpel suffers from chronic pain and fatigue as a long COVID patient. For over a year, she's been unable to drive or have a full-time job. I've spent a lot of the last few months really grieving the life that I had, the life that I've lost. And now that I'm on disability and it's, it's not even just the life that I've lost from a career perspective. It's the uncertainty of how long will we be able to make ends meet, but will I ever be even able to function the way that I did, you know, in 2021, that's very much up in the air. Millions of COVID-19 patients across the nation are facing the same uncertainty. That's why Diana Barrent decided to form Survivor Corps, mobilizing victims of long COVID who still lack an established treatment for their health condition. You can sign up for a trial today and give back to science and use your experience to help others, to push the scientific needle as quickly and efficiently as possible. We became a patient advocacy movement by the end of April when so many of our members weren't recovering. Many of them weren't believed by their own physicians. Some have been misdiagnosed and scores have committed suicide. But support groups like Survivor Corps have also helped millions of victims across the nation realize they're not alone. They've turned to each other for all kinds of help, including emotional support and even medical advice. But many of them resent the lack of awareness around the issue and government inaction. In hopes for a quicker economic recovery, President Biden suggested last week that the coronavirus pandemic was over. I thought it was a, a, a foolish statement. You know, we are not, we are still seeing four to 500 people die a day. And by saying the pandemic is over means that we're okay with that. And I'm not okay with that. And we are leaving behind the vast numbers of people who are suffering with long COVID, who have no answers, and who are living a tortured life or living a tortured existence. As millions of patients have been in this long haul recovery from COVID-19, the virus still continues to infect and kill hundreds of Americans every day. It is Tianshan CGTN, Los Angeles.